My name is Amy Zetta. I am a consultant with Model Technology Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add existing iOS devices into Intune using Apple Configurator 2, Apple Business Manager, and Intune. Please note this process will wipe devices. In order to use this configuration, you will need to be an Intune administrator in Azure as well as a administrator or device enrollment manager in Apple Business Manager. For the configuration of this process, you will need to configure the Apple MDM push certificate as well as enrollment program token. Once the enrollment token is set up, make sure you create enrollment profiles for your specific platforms in your environment. Devices must have an enrollment profile assigned before they are powered on to successfully enroll. So make sure to set the default profiles. For the configuration of Apple Configurator 2, we need to set the organization by using your Apple Business Manager account as well as an MDM server. For my configuration of the MDM server, I used my company's valid server URL and I imported the Apple MDM certificate as a CER file. To start the deployment, attach the device, make sure it shows up, select the device, select prepare. For this demo, I'm going to use manual configuration. I'm going to add it to my Apple Business Manager. And I'm also going to allow devices to pair with other computers. I'm going to select my created MDM server as well as my organization. I'm not going to show any of the steps since this is demo, as well as I'm not going to do a Wi-Fi profile. If you're going to do this in production, you probably want to set up a Wi-Fi profile to make it faster. And then I select prepare. Notice you may get messages regarding it will erase select a race and now the iPad is resetting. Now the machine is being wiped and now it will be reconfigured and add it into Apple Business Manager. Once the settings are complete it will come back to this screen. Now we have to add it from Configuration Manager into Intune and you do that by going back to the Apple Business Manager, go to Settings. Notice in the MDM server, we now have a device in the MDM configurator, Apple configurator. We can show devices, the device that I added, and we change the device management to the Intune environment by selecting Assign Server, selecting the name, and hitting continue. Now this device will be reassigned to the Intune. Now if we go back into settings, we now see that there's nothing in Apple Configurator 2 and now it is in the Intune environment. At this time, the device will now be added into Intune and there is a sync process that happens every 12 hours or we can kick that off early for demo purposes. So I'm going to go into my enrollment token, devices, notice nothing's here. If I select sync, and I refresh. Now into my devices in here. By default, since I set my default profiles, it should now go and enroll into the iOS enrollment profile that I set up earlier.
Alternatively, if I wanted to assign a different profile, I can select the machine, hit profile, and it will give me the options if I had multiple pro profiles here. Now the device is in Intune. Okay, so for the iOS setup, after you've prepared it, once the device is to the preset screen, you will need to go to the Apple Business Manager and reassign the device to Intune MDM server, as well as you need to verify that is now listed inside Intune. To finish the registration, connect to your wireless. Now this device is now registered inside my Intune.